Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to sort values in a range or table in Excel using VBA macros. And as an example, I have here some data with the 10 largest countries in the world by surface area. And we're going to be sorting the data first by the country name in alphabetical order. So let's see how to do that in the Visual Basic Editor, add a module, sort values. And the first thing we need is to have a range. So I'm going to declare a variable RNG as a range object. And then we're going to set RNG to, to the range. In this case, is clearly A1 through B11. So we could say range A1 through B11. And this is the range in the active sheet. So it doesn't matter if we add this or not, but we could specify any other worksheet here with sheets and the name of the sheet or simply the sheet object name. But in this case, it's not necessary. The other thing we could do is using the used range property. And that would be with active sheet. In this case, we need to reference a worksheet and then use range. That would actually be exactly the same as range A1 through B11. And now we're going to sort, let me add a commentary here, sort by country name um, alphabetically. And that's with range dot sort. As you see, we have a number of parameters. And the key parameter is one of the required parameters. And as you see, we have key 1, key 2, and key 3, because we can actually determine because we can actually sort by several columns. But here, we're going to just sort by the column A. So the key 1 is going to refer to range A1. So range A1 is the header for column 1. We have the 10 largest countries. That's the reference. Then let me continue in the next line. Order 1, so the order for that key, is going to be, it can either be ascending or descending. In this case, we're going to have it ascending because we want to have it alphabetically. And finally, we need to specify that our table or our range has headers. So header equals, and as you see, we can choose between yes or no, or we can also let Excel guess. But as we are certain that we have headers, let's just have header yes. If we run the macro now, as you see, we've sorted the table by country alphabetically. And of course, the values in the other column have been actually moved as well, right? Because we've applied the sort function to the entire range. And now let's sort the data by surface area. So let me put here a commentary. Now we're going to sort by surface area. And again, with range dot sort, the key now is going to be actually range B1 which is the cell with the header for column B, where we have the surface area. The order one now is going to be actually descending, because we, want to have, because we want to have the largest first. And finally, we're going to set that we have headers. Now, let me comment this one here although it could actually work as well. It would sort first by country and then by surface area. So if I run now the macro, as you see, we've sorted from largest to smallest in this table. And the largest country by surface area is Russia, then Canada, China, and so on. So that's how we sort values in a range or table in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.